Hi guys, good morning. So it's currently 6.50. It is an early workout class that I'm doing today. It actually starts in a couple minutes, but I want to give you guys a quick intro before I go into Pilates. One of my most requested series to bring back on my YouTube channel that I haven't done in so long is I ate like and I worked out like, insert whatever celebrity. Today we are doing Sydney Sweeney and I just got done watching the movie Anyone But You and I was like, you know what? I gotta bring the series back. I'm doing Sydney Sweeney. So that movie was super cute. If you haven't seen it, it was like, it reminded me of like an old school rocom. Me and my husband kept saying that. It just like had that like lighthearted fun feel that you would, you know, watch when you would see a rocom. And there hasn't been good ones in forever. So I highly recommend watching it. But yeah, we're gonna eat and work out like Sydney Sweeney. I see people walking into my class and it's giving me anxiety, but I really want to do this intro so if you're new to my channel i'm sam i make new videos every wednesday if you like these videos in the past i've done shay mitchell i've done megan fox i've done megan markle i've done chloe kardashian there's probably more that i'm missing or can't think of right now but i have a whole series on this and like i said today we're doing sydney sweeney so whenever i do these videos i try to do my research as best as i can sometimes they don't list every single thing that they do so that's my disclaimer is that i'm just taking from sources that were published most recently so 2024 so the first thing she said is she's been loving reformer pilates specifically the pilates studio solid core and i looked it up and it's a lot like the pilates studio that i go to so it uses a reformer and lately i've been into hot pilates which uses just the mat i'm taking a little break from reformer pilates but i'm not today only because this is the workout she does so we're gonna follow exactly what she does but i'll say the hardest part of her diet so far is that she only drinks water she doesn't like coffee. She said she's never tried coffee and that when she was 12, she decided she was just going to drink water. And so waking up for an early morning Pilates class, it's currently 6.50 and not having coffee. I'm like, help me. The heels should get higher. Good. There you go. Now the lower the hips are, the more we're going to feel that burn. So knee over heel, right side, keep the hips back behind the platform. Got right done. It was the owner who taught today, so it was extra hard and we did a little bit of weight and what's so important to remember if you're trying to lose weight or lose fat or anything like that, the more muscle you have on your body, the more fat you burn. Okay, if you don't live in a place where it's spring weather, listen to these spring vibes and I hope I bring spring energy to you. I love that sound. I love when you go outside and you can hear birds and it just feels like, it feels like spring. It's one of my favorite seasons. I love Easter. I love like we have some Easter projects me and Violet we're working on, like just so many cute things. So anyway, peep the cookies in the background. I'm going to show you guys how to make those because this is another reason why it's fun to do Sydney Sweeney's diet or what she eats in a day, not really a diet. But she says that she's actually not the healthiest and she wants to try to get healthier. But at this point, this is like what she does right now. And some, some of the other celebrities that I've done in the past eat super healthy, almost to the point, like I remember when I did JLo, I was like, whoa, that was really hard. Like it wasn't a lot of carbs and I was like, okay, that was hard. But I thought it would be fun to do somebody that just kind of is like, whatever, this is what it is right now. And she makes up for it in different ways. Like she only drinks water and she stays away from sugary drinks and she's really active. I was reading she likes mixed martial arts, which she's not doing right now because different things with movie roles don't allow her to do that. But according to this, her favorite breakfast right now, she said it always changes, but right now is a croissant with honey, cinnamon, butter, and berries. So let's do it. That sounds delicious. Okay, so I obviously didn't know what honey, butter, honey, cinnamon, butter she uses. So I'm going to make my own. I just heated up some butter. The honey I'm going to be using for this is honey I got from the farm. So you can see it has the honeycomb in it still. And was my hair just in the butter? Sorry, guys. And using organic cinnamon. So we'll start with that. I've actually had honey cinnamon butter when I was doing high tea in New York City. And it's delicious, so you can see it's like that. And look at how chunky it is. That's what I like about real 
raw honey, this is raw, is that it's like chunky and it's perfect for stuff like this. Okay, so I just made a small serving because it's literally just for me, but it's helpful that I've had cinnamon honey butter kind of recently, it was like around Christmas time. So I was able to like make sure that this is like what it tastes like. <laughs> So she likes to have this with a croissant. Put it on there. Well, who wouldn't want to have this for breakfast? So I did berries. She didn't specify which one. So I just did all the ones I had. Blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. And I mean, all right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to go shower, do a little makeup, and then we will meet back for her next meal. So before I go do that, I am going to take my probiotic. This is by Seed. It's the Daily Symbiotic and it's a pre and probiotic. Normally I take two on an empty stomach, but because I'm eating like Sydney Sweeney, I'm just doing things a little out of order today. So I had the croissant and berries and now I am having my probiotic. This video is in collaboration with Seed. And if you guys are new to my channel, I've actually been taking Seed since 2021. So so literally years towards the end of my breastfeeding journey is when I found seed and that's when my body was all out of whack. I still had like the last 10 pounds to lose and seed was a big part of my journey because I was working out, I was eating healthy-ish, but a big thing for me at that time was my gut needed to be reset. Like just from being pregnant, then sleepless nights and being a first time mom, it was like so many things all at once. One of my friends at the time saw a celebrity nutritionist and she told her to take seed. And then she ran to me and was like, you should take seed. Like that's what this nutritionist told me that she's getting all these celebrities on. I started taking seed before ever working with them. And then finally I did get to work with them, which was really exciting. Like I am in today's video because then I could bring you guys a discount code at SAMO25 for 25% off your first month's supply of seed. But anyway, I started taking it. It was easy enough, you know, two capsules first thing in the morning. And within the first few months, some of the things that I saw change were I was super regular in the bathroom. Bathroom. It helped promote healthy skin for me. I didn't have like the little bloated belly, like the little belly sticking out all the time. I didn't have that. Seeds Daily Symbiotic is formulated with 24 clinically and scientifically studied strands for the whole body's benefit, like your heart, your skin, your gut health. So yeah, if those are any areas that are of concern to you or ones you want to work on, like for me, I definitely want it to be regular. Uh, I definitely want ways to work on my skin from the inside out, not just what I put on my skin. I love skincare, just like the next girl does, but I wanted to find other ways too to make sure that my skin was healthy and glowing. Click my link down below and use my code SAMO25 and that will get you 25% off your first month supply of seed. Okay, so I just did my makeup, showered, did all the things, and this is a new little summer dress that I got from Princess Polly. I got a couple dresses from them recently. So if you see me linking on Instagram, that's why I just did like a big haul. Um, but I saved mascara and lip gloss for on camera because yesterday on Instagram, I said I was wearing burgundy mascara or two days ago, it wasn't yesterday. And you guys were like, oh, is it the YSL one? It's literally L'Oreal. If I'm trying something new, like something a little funky, cause normally I wear black mascara, but if trying something different like it's like kind of purplish you know i'll go with like a cheaper brand so it's not like a big commitment it's really pretty it's really subtle you can't like tell too much and then this is the lip gloss i've been wearing it's the road Haley bieber brand and i get salted caramel and it's really my favorite thing from her line i tried i only tried two things <laughs> so i've had this i love i love the lip gloss it makes you look really makes your lips look really shiny and i just put it over like lip liner and then the peptide glazing fluid i'm gonna finish this but i won't be buying that again for me it just wasn't it it just wasn't what i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna make your skin more dewy i thought it was gonna be more like this product the is clinical hydra serum this is like the cool serum that so many people use and this you put it on your skin and it's like so dewy and like 
thick dewiness, but not in like an oil way. And that's what I thought this was gonna be. This just like melts into my skin. It feels nice, like I like it, I'm gonna use it but I just won't be buying it again. So over the weekend, me and my daughter decorated for Easter, which was actually a really good idea because I did not know Easter was gonna be in March this year. Like it's the last day, but I always thought it was like mid-April. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know where I was at, but anyway, for lunch, Sydney Sweeney says that she always switches it up depending on where she is, which makes total sense for an actress because I'm sure it's different like being on set or different countries, whatever else she's working on. But she said she loves a Caesar salad. So we're gonna go get a Caesar salad and I have to pick up my three-year-old anyway. So let's do this. Okay, so I'm pulling out of my house and I forgot one other thing that I was bringing in the car with me and that's this buy drink. So these are flavored waters. I've actually never had it before. So we're gonna try it on camera, but this is Sydney Sweeney's favorite drink besides just plain water are these flavored waters, especially the pineapple mango flavor. So I bought a case and I made sure to find the flavor that she really likes. And she said that this flavor is her favorite because when she was filming White Lotus, by the way, that's like my favorite show. I can't wait for it to come back. Um, she ate a lot of pineapple there. So this flavor gives her a lot of that like memories of filming there. It's really good. Got a Caesar salad from Pura Vida. If anybody's local and wants to know where I went, that's where I went. So they had a kale Caesar salad with chicken. We're gonna try some gummies. So we just finished ballet class. And the next thing Sydney Sweeney loves is Swedish fish. So when I Instacarted them, cause I haven't had Swedish fish in forever, but this is her favorite thing to snack on. And I got the Smart Sweets one, which are a little bit healthier. I didn't even mean to do that, but that's what Instacart sent. Okay, so I'll try one. Wanna try one? Sure. Yeah. Yum. Okay, so my three-year-old says yum. <laughs> you like them? I don't know what I think. Obviously, like real Swedish fish are better, but. Oh, you. Oh, you're welcome, honey. Dinner was tricky because I couldn't find exactly what she likes. She likes Italian, which is what I made, and I kept seeing that everywhere, but she also likes Kraft mac and cheese. So I made Italian and used carbone sauce because she said she was eating Italian in New York City. Just did my skincare, and now for my favorite part, well, actually, Sydney's favorite part, I just can't wait, I've been thinking about this all day, is her dessert. So she likes to have a chocolate chip cookie, with vanilla ice cream on top and she said that it's just her thing like this is her favorite dessert and i decided to make chocolate chip cookies so i made that the other day i filmed it and then this is what i have left so if you're looking for like a standard chocolate chip cookie recipe you're going to love this so i'm just going to include those clips of when i filmed that i have healthy chocolate chip cookies on my channel and my instagram i have a whole highlight I'm always getting DM'd you guys like sharing them with me that you guys made them. These are not that. Okay, disclaimer, this is just your standard chocolate chip cookie with sugar, brown sugar. Chocolate chips and memories, coffee and omega cookies, they make me feel at home. Father, brother, mother, dear, you're so far, but feel right here. No So with the dough, I made some big ones that I put in the oven for 13 minutes. I thought those would be better for ice cream and then I made smaller ones and I put those in the oven for 10 minutes and they seriously come out perfect. Cheers. Mm. Well, I could do this diet, that's for sure. <laughs>
that is everything guys thank you so much for watching this vlog make sure to check out seed i will have everything linked in my description box this cookie recipe is dope like if you're looking for perfect chewy cookies it's delicious anyway love you bye